What to Do When Something Wants to Eat You by Steve Jenkins Most animals face the constant danger of being eaten by other animals. This book shows a few of the ways that they try to avoid this fate. When an octopus is threatened, it squirts a thick cloud of black ink into the water, confusing its attacker. The bombardier beetle defends itself by shooting a mixture of hot chemicals from its rear end into the face of an attacker. It can shoot up to 500 times in one second. If a puffer fish is in danger, it takes in water and swells up like a prickly balloon, making itself almost impossible to swallow. The glass snake is really a lizard without legs. When it is grabbed by the tail, its tail breaks into many small wriggling pieces. The pangolin protects itself by rolling into an armor-plated ball. The basilisk lizard is known in South America as the Jesus Christ lizard. It can escape its enemies by running across the surface of ponds and streams, using its large feet and great speed to keep it from sinking into the water. When it feels threatened, the hog-nosed snake rolls onto its back, sticks out its tongue, and plays dead. This is a good defense because many predators prefer to kill their own food. The brightly colored clownfish escapes danger by hiding in the poisonous tentacles of the sea anemone. The clownfish is immune to the poison, but any predator who follows is badly stung or killed. The hoverfly is a harmless insect without a sting, but it can protect itself from predators by mimicking the appearance of a wasp. The gliding frog lives in trees in the forests of Asia. It can escape predators by using its large webbed feet to glide as far as 50 feet to reach another tree. When it spreads its wings to fly the silk moth, reveals two large spots that look like eyes on its wings. These can startle an attacker and give the silk moth time to escape. The Javanese leaf insect looks almost exactly like a real leaf. This makes it very difficult for its enemies to see. The flying fish escapes danger by leaping from the water, spreading its wing-like fins, and gliding as far as a thousand feet. The blue-tongued skink startles attackers by sticking out its large bright blue tongue and wiggling it from side to side. What would you do if something wanted to eat you?